Greetings, Lux lovers. Welcome or welcome back. Here we believe in intentional luxury and we're not afraid to invest in pieces that will work for us. So if that resonates with you, then please consider subscribing and stay a while. I think I have found a new favorite brand. You all know that Hermes will always be my number one, but recently I've fallen hard for a brand called Anina Bing. I have no idea what led to this discovery. I think I was just scrolling through the sales section of like handbag listings, but the logo of this brand is this A and a B, which just happened to be the initials of my kids, clearly. I love bees. And this is the pendant that I recently opened from the foundry on a necklace that happened to have an A and a B uh, in little diamonds on it. So like, I am again that crazy AB lady and I went down a total rabbit hole researching this brand. Basically, I believe it's California based. However, the founder is Scandinavian, so it has like an international slash boho flair to it. Anina is the creative director and she is just so cool. She's a former rock and roll singer who now just wants to make wearable pieces for moms on the go. So all her pieces have a little bit of an edge to them, but they're also pretty chic. And to me, it's giving major Celine vibes. The face of the brand is Kate Moss. And I feel like that goes so well with their rocker turned mom aesthetic. I feel like every mom likes to think they're in that boat too. Also, one of her signature looks is reminiscent of Princess Diana in the oversized sweatshirts and the biker shorts. And with that, I was completely sold. It's also a breath of fresh air to finally like a brand where my money can go way farther. So you know, I just had to go check out their store in New York City and I can't wait to share my haul with you along with some other items that are still on my mind from my try-ons. So let's begin. All right, so first we're going to start with this bag and you can kind of already see what's poking out of the top, but I got this Anina Bing beach towel oh it smells really nice too it has like some kind of perfume on it it's double-sided so you can have the black and the tan or the tan and the black letters but it's also just kind of looks like a pattern so if you don't love the a b as much as i do then it's just kind of a geometric pattern of sorts and this will go quite well i think with my hermes towel that i added to my collection last year the leopards but of course at a fraction of the price. So very happy with this one. And then to finish out this tote bag, we have the little AB sticker. But I got, this is the Miles Oversized Sweatshirt in Letterman. That's just basically what the tag says. And just so you know, this is an extra small. So they have a different variety of sweatshirt and it is super good quality. This is in the size extra small, and this is I think the smallest you can get, but they have different types of sweatshirts in different sizes. Some even go down to extra, extra small. So the ladies at the store told me that I should definitely size down. So I'll, I'll try this on afterwards so you can see the full look. This next piece actually came from Bloomingdale's. I bought the Dylan coat in the color camel, I forget what they call it. Bloomingdale's only had the size small, not extra small, and at that point, I didn't know which one I needed. So here is this beautiful wool and cashmere coat. As you know, I did a whole review on the, the Max Mara Manuela coat, and it was just like way too big. After watching that video, in my mind, I was like, that coat is wearing me, I'm not wearing the coat. So then I bought this one, and it actually feels really lovely i will try it on all right and now for the last piece to unbox today so i'll take it out of this beautiful shopping bag and we'll open it up and it is the large rio tote now i guess i'm confused because when i see it online i always see on the anita bing website it says it's the large size but then i see i think the same thing saying that it's the medium size so you guys may know i have had raffia fever this whole summer and this just really scratched that itch you can see that it is made of some really tight knit raffia and here is that beautiful a b and it it also smells really nice. The handles are leather and it has 
a nice base on the bottom, which is nice. So I don't have to get a separate base shaper. But not only have I been loving like the raffia look, but I've been loving the kind of open crochet raffia look. So I like the fact that you can partially see through it. It kind of reminds me of the Mew Mew Wander bag that I tried on in my other video. The thing I like about this also is that you can kind of bring the wings out to make it be like a very big beach bag but also you can tuck them in if you want it to be much smaller like a book tote. So I bought this because I just thought I could keep all of my family's belongings in here, but given that we are just a family of four when we go to the pool, like this will definitely not even hold my whole family stuff. And this is what it looks like on me. Again, it is a very big beach bag, but that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted a huge tote. I'm definitely going crazy with all the totes I'm buying this year but I just love this so much. You know, can I use it for the farmer's market? Sure. And I'll show you what it looks like with the sides tucked in. I'm actually looking forward to it becoming a little more relaxed so that you can even get a nice trapeze look. So that even has more of a triangular look. So, I mean, I guess I could in theory get away with taking this to the bakery or just to go to the grocery store, but this is like far from a small handheld. And if you don't want the AB, you can just turn it around and use this side. And again, this was only $450. And I say only, like, take that with a grain of salt. Usually the bags that I'm looking at to buy are thousands of dollars. Like I was looking at the Loewe, a very small Loewe um, pochette. That's $850. Then I was looking at another Loewe bag that was $1,700 with that same look, only smaller. So. I think that this is such great value for money and it's a huge tote that I can use and to me it's like very family oriented. Alright so let me tell you more about the things that I tried on that I didn't purchase but that I'm still thinking about to this day. They also have a lot of skirts and shorts so I did try on some. These were very cute and just so you see these are in the size 36 and they did technically fit. I think they were just like very snug on my waist. And again, I'm like a size four, maybe now closer to two in the summertime. But my only gripe with the carry shorts, which I like the look of a lot, it's only if I like sat down, I felt like they would be creased very easily. They also had a lot of baseball caps in like different colors. And I really liked that. One I tried on was in that Letterman type varsity jacket type of logo. So that was a nice AB, which I still like and might purchase. But then they also had just very simple stitching of, of the Anina Bing logo. And I figured that I'm trying to get back to using my Hermes baseball cap. So I did pass on the baseball caps. Now I do really love all the tops and tees that they have. I focus on the ones that had the AB logo on them. However, it's interesting because on some of the nice knitwear that they have, they have a little AB logo in like a charm form that's sewn on. So it's like, I don't know if it's metal or plastic, but it is a very, very classy way of having a logo on something. And so let's talk about the bags. Not only did I try on the big beach tote that I ultimately purchased, but I wanted to try on all of the other hobo beach bags that they had. So I'll put pictures up here, but they had a very large hobo beach bag and that had the AB in like a natural tan color. I really like that color, but that beach bag was way too big for me. But then they had a smaller raffia hobo bag, which I also really loved. But then I was like, all right, am I really gonna buy two raffia beach bags today? So I passed on it, but I still really like it. It was like a good size if I didn't want that huge bag. So maybe if it goes on sale, I'll just pick it up later. Then going into more of the fall bags, these definitely caught my attention. The first one is called the Kate shoulder bag. And this one is total Chanel 22 vibes. It has that look of what we all call the garbage bag look, but it just looks so cool and literally a fraction of the price. I believe this one is at $600. The leather is so smooth and gorgeous. It has the Anina Bing logo, but you can turn it around if you don't like it. It also has a very cool like metallic gold link uh, detail, but it just was really hitting all the points. If you like the Chanel 22 look, but you don't wanna pay thousands and thousands of dollars, I think this is a good option and one that I really, really am thinking about. The other alternative in the same line 
is the small Kate shoulder bag. And by Kate, they're talking about Kate Moss, I'm assuming. But this is more of like a much smaller hobo. And you have that same kind of link strap. However, it's detachable. So if you wanted to use it as like a little clutch or pouch, you can do so. And I really like that. Or if you just wanted to add your own strap and put that on if you wanted to make it more Chanel-like. But that one was so cute. And I feel like that leather was even softer than the first one. So I love those two options and that I'm really thinking about for the fall. Um, I will show that I tried on the Dylan coat in black and this was the extra small. I actually think this was probably my size, but I will show the picture of me wearing the um, camel collar in the small size. And then to me, the biggest surprise that stole the show was definitely the fine jewelry. I love this one. This is called the beaded necklace and it just kind of looks like a ball bearing type necklace. And it is just so cool. This is 14 karat gold, but this just looks so good. And as you can see, I have my AB with a pendant. And so that kind of layered with that beaded necklace, I loved. It had like a lobster clasp in the back that had a jump ring. So this could be adjusted to be more of a choker. I love that. The next necklace that I tried on is called the spiral necklace. And this is the one that I literally can't get out of my mind. Clearly, as you can see, it looks like one of those spiral hair ties and it is just engineered in such a cool way. It's very smart the way they did it. It's like the spiral hair ties and then like cut in half so that it lays on your skin. But this just looks so badass and when layered with a pendant, I mean, it just looked so good. It was a solid substantial chain, but not like a boring chain. I felt like this piece really stood out and was like total major cool mom vibes. And then I also tried on the bracelet and this one I think is half the price, but it just looks so cool. Unfortunately, they don't do customizations. So I think it was like seven inches that I would have had to get. And that's just a little too long. But I mean, clearly all my bracelets are kind of like all over the place <laughs> with my little small wrist. They're so unique and so cool. And they're expensive, yes, but compared to the other brands that we're looking at, like these would probably be double in price. So I'll try on the sweatshirt. And as you can see, it is huge. It is so big. I'll do the front tuck though with it. Total bat wing. And again, this is extra small. If they made an extra, extra small, I definitely would use it. But I just love it. I would, ha I could have my necklaces pop out of the top. This is just total fall vibes. I wouldn't need a coat over it. And then here is this beautiful coat. As you can see, it's double breasted, but it only has two buttons. So it's not like a lot of buttons. It's not really aligned, but it's nice because it's, it's warm, but not overly warm. But yeah, you can definitely see it kind of is a little too big for me, even in the arms. However, the lapel is nice and smaller because the Manuela coat was like huge and the lapels like came out to my shoulders. But this I liked because the lapel was kind of itty bitty and it wasn't overwhelming for my frame. And then this is what it looks like tied up. I don't even think it's that bad. Like I could still do a little cuffing if I wanted to. And maybe I will hang on to this in case I never see an extra small come up. But again, the, the Bloomingdale's deal was so good. Now it doesn't have the slit on the back, but I don't care about that. It's pretty wide and I could definitely fit a suit coat underneath. And it has that drop shoulder and it just has a very modern feel. Also, if I don't want to button it, I can just kind of wrap it and then just tie it. So it can even hug my form a little more. This is one of her t-shirts and this is Anina Bing with of course the leopard print which I love. This looks big and it is in the extra small size. So I will try this on but it is very soft. I wouldn't say overly thick but it's also pretty long on me. So this is what it looks like on me. Again I really like the longer sleeves. I would just wear it like with the front tuck kind of like that and be puffed out, hanging out in the back. So lots of coverage. So it's loose, this is very loose. I like it. It's like a very neutral gray, very comfortable. Like I said, the t-shirt is not too thick. And I really like this leopard, even though it's not quite the AB. And with these cut off jeans, this looks very 80s, but I'm okay with it. I'm at peace with it. Another piece that I got in the mail is a pair of sunglasses, 
Oh, it comes with a nice pouch. And here we are. Comes with a little cloth. And these are called the Indio glasses in the tortoise shell. These are pretty cool. And they make these in this kind of square cat eye look, but these have the thinner stems. This is basically what I bought them for, for the AB so I can have that on the side. And it doesn't, it's not raised, so it's nice and flat, which is very nice. I really like the gold tone actually. I just took a chance and I bought them and they're very comfortable again for a, a wider face. So glad that that worked out. And then I could not resist this additional piece and this was on deep discount. And here we go. It is the classic blazer in recycled leather. Now, honestly, I'm a little surprised it came like this, like in a bag, but this is pretty cool. I hope that these wrinkles come out that like if it's real leather, but this is in the size extra, extra small. I have not tried on any Anita Bink blazer at all. So I just actually bought it with a size I thought would work. So let's give it a shot. All right, this is pretty cool. So this actually fits me. Again, is extra, extra small. And like the lapels aren't too crazy. It's looking really shiny on camera right now, but I think it's because I have like overhead lighting. Uh, when I look at it straight on, it doesn't look so bad. It has the type of back flap. Nothing is even sewn on. I actually think this is a really good value. Like I said, I bought it for about $200. It was 60% off. It's a leather blazer. These are, I believe, real pockets. And it has interior pockets and even like a little one, maybe for a pen or something. This will be an awesome fall edition. Here's what it looks like with one button. I can even roll up the sleeves of this. I'm gonna try not to be too precious with this and just like use it as a leather jacket, but I like it. I've had a leather moto jacket for so long and I've never used it, but I'm hoping that maybe this will be more of my preppy aesthetic. So again, love this look for the cool rocker mom aesthetic. I am ready to go. So thank you to those who've stayed with me to the end. Let us know in the comments if you have anything from Anina Bing and what your thoughts are. I welcome you to follow me on Instagram if you'd like to see more of how I style these items in my day to day and other luxury moments. If you've enjoyed this video, I invite you to go down the rabbit hole that is my luxury unboxing playlist and I'll put that link here. Please like it if you liked it and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.